Hello everyone, for starters, this is Blog Fail YouTube channel. I welcome you all who are daily to this channel. Without much ado, I would like us to zoom into what to expect in this video. But before that, prominent, prominent among all, I would like you to be a part of this YouTube channel. We are a family, I would like you to be a part of this channel. To do so, I'd like you to tap on the subscription button first and then you tap on the like button. So I'm going to take a few seconds while you do that. Please do just tap on the subscription button. Okay. Now go to the like button as well. Alright, hope you are done. Okay, so let's zoom into what to expect in this video. I hope you enjoy this video it's my favorite hope that you enjoy this video and that it fits the purpose for which you seek i will select this beautiful template for my free website and this is how my website looks <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Ron and today I'll be showing you how to make a website for free. And the best part is that you don't need any coding skills whatsoever. So let's get started. First things first, a website requires a domain name and a hosting service to get live on the internet. Now there are two ways to start making a website. Either you can buy a domain name and a hosting service from a service provider. In this case, you will get a free domain name with extensions like .com, .net and others. You can get both the services for free with some basic limitation. Name will have a second level domain name, which we will be seeing soon. As promised, I will guide you through the second way to make a free website. So without any further ado, let's begin. For the sake of simplicity, I have divided this tutorial into three parts. Getting a domain name and hosting, installing WordPress and customizing our website. Apart from the above, I have a bonus step for you at the end of this tutorial. It will guide you through on how to optimize your site for your target audience. So watch this video till the end to know the secret recipe of making and optimizing your free website. Before getting started with the first part, I would like to tell you about the role of the domain name and the hosting service. A domain name is the name of your website. In other words, it's what the people will type in the URL to search your website. For instance, Google's domain name is google.com, Facebook's is facebook.com and YouTube's is youtube.com. And a hosting service provider provides you with the space needed to store your web files. Now that you know what's a domain name and a hosting service, so let's begin with the first part of this tutorial. Part 1. Getting a free domain name and hosting. A domain name can cost you anywhere from 99 cents and go up to hundreds and thousands of dollars. However, with Pro Free Host, you can get it for free. Further, it also offers free hosting services. So let's go to profreehost.com. We need to create an account first. To do that, I will click on register now. All you need is an email address for registration and a password. So I'll quickly type in an email address and password and click on tick. And I've successfully created my account, but I will have to activate it first. To do that, I will log in to my email first and click on the email by Profreehost. Now I will click on activate account. Now as you can see, my account has been activated. Now that we have an account, we can move ahead with the next step, domain registration. To choose a domain name, we need to click on create new account. Now we need to choose a domain name. I will try something random as it's just a tutorial video. Let's say cafe books. And the domain name is available. Now we have an option to change our domain names extension. We have two options, esiro.com and unox. However, I will go with unox. And now let's scroll down and click on the tick button over here to claim our domain name. The best part is that ProFreeHost also offers a free hosting service. So we can directly move on to the next step which is installing WordPress. For those who are new to WordPress, it's a platform that allows you to create and customize your website. You don't need any coding skills to use WordPress. 
Installation of WordPress will also make our website live. So now we can directly go over to installing WordPress. Let's click on manage. And on control panel. Now we have a disclaimer message asking for my permission to enable email notifications. I will click on I approve. And we are at Pro Free Hosts control panel. Let's scroll down and click on the Softaculous Apps installer. Let's hover over WordPress and click on install. Now we can scroll down. and fill in the admin username. Now you can either change the password or use the same. Just make sure that you save the credentials somewhere for the future. I will copy them on my sticky note app for now. And after scrolling down, I will click on install. This setup takes a couple of minutes. And WordPress has been successfully installed. We have a link to our website. Let's click on it. As you can see, our website is now live. However, it doesn't look good. It may seem too basic or may not even look like a website to you now. Don't worry, we will edit it and make it attractive in no time. And that brings us to the final part, which is customizing our website. To start editing, we need to log in to our WordPress dashboard. I just need to add WP Admin to my site's name and press enter. Now I need to copy the username and password that I saved earlier on my Sticky Notes app and click on login. And now I am redirected to the WordPress dashboard. This is the place where we can modify our site. I will show you how. For the starters, I will show you how to install a theme. A theme is a design that allows you to customize the appearance of your site. The advantage of using a theme is that we don't have to design our site from scratch. Let me show you how. I will go to Appearances and click on Themes. And now let's click on Add theme. And let's search for the theme as well. This is the theme that I'm looking for. I will now click on Install. Our theme has now been installed. I'll click on Activate. As you can see, Astra has been installed. Let's click on Get Started. And now we need to select a website builder from here. So I will choose Elementor as my preferred site builder. Over here we have several designs that we can use for our site. We can also filter out the design categories by clicking on the drop down box over here. I will click on block. As you can see, we have filtered out all the block templates. However, I like this one, fashion lifestyle block. This template has the home page, the block page and the contact page. I like this template. I will click on import complete site to import it. And click on import. We can skip this option and our site is getting imported. Let's now click on view site. As you can see, this is the template that we just imported. I'll scroll down and see the new look of my site. Let's have a look at other pages as well. I will click on blog. Let's also view the contact page. Now you might have noted that the default text has been imported along with the theme as well. So how do we edit that? Don't worry, I will show you how to customize your site's content next. Edit the content of any page, we just need to click on the edit with Elementor option present on the top over here. Let's say I wish to edit my home page. To do that, I will go to home page and click on the edit with Elementor option. And that brings us to Elementor's editing section. 
Elementor allows one-click editing option to the users. Let's check it out. Suppose I wish to change the title here. All I need to do is select the text and write my own version of the text. Let's say free website. Similarly, we can also change the other features of our title, such as the color or the alignment of the text. For starters, I will show you how to change the color of this text. I will hover over to style and choose the text color option. Next, we will click on the text color and select a suitable color for our title. I will go with this one. Next, I will show you how we can edit this button. I will change it from read more to free tutorial. And it's done. Let's scroll a bit. Next, I wish to change the image over here. Let's click on this image and hover over this option and select choose image. Now I'll select files from my computer. This is the image that I wish to choose. Let's now click on insert media. As you can see the image has been updated. Now I'll click on the update button over here. The changes have been updated. Let's click on preview changes to view our site. This is how our site looks now. Next, let's see how to edit our site's header and the footer section. Let's start with the header section first. To do that, I will click on Customize. Oh, what a wonderful video and a wonderful episode come to an end. What can I say? It's been a pleasure having you all on my channel. I hope that this video fits the purpose for which you seek. And I would like to first thank all who subscribed to this channel to be a part of this family so that we can extend the boundaries of this channel to other people to have a positive impact on this channel. Thank you all so much. And for those who were unable to subscribe, please you can still do so. Kindly go to the subscription button and tap on it and also the like button. Thank you. And also what that is does is that it, when you subscribe, it encourages me, it motivates me to come up with more videos that will kill your needs. So please just try and do this for me. I'm not asking of any payment or any sort. Just subscribe for me. That's all I ask for. Thank you. Hope you do. And I hope that you enjoy this channel. And then be a part of this channel. We'll have more than this channel. Thank you.